Hello there, I am Bylent and you are very welcome to my channel. Probably you may know that the popular mutable instruments no longer make modules. I think we can all agree that MI has had a huge impact on users, on modular market and on music. As well as it was announced, I thought of making a video with one of my MI modules, but I didn't know which one. But a few weeks ago I used streams. I looked it up and got the impression that a lot of people were unsure about the module. Oh, I thought it is a great opportunity. Now I want to show you why I like streams. But before I do that, if you like what you see and hear, please consider to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button or let me know what you think about streams or about the video. I really appreciate all that. Now let's look at what Stream is and why it is so special. Streams is a dual dynamic gate, a module designed to handle dynamics as flexible as possible. The heart of the module is the low pass gate, a voltage controlled filter and amplifier. The low pass gate is the invention of Don Bukla, who realized that he could achieve a much more better sound by adding a filter to a VCA, so that if the VCA is controlled with an envelope, for example, the sound would not only be quieter during the release portion, but also darker, since the cutoff parameter was also controlled by the envelope. Back to the streams. What's unusual about this module is the way it controls this VCFA. A microcontroller is connected to the front of the analog units, which can control the filter and the amplifier according to different function procedures. This controller has one input, the multifunctional Excite input, which is its main feature. Although the VCA can be controlled as a standard VCA because there is such an input on the module, but who wants to do that when the Excite input is much better and much interesting? You can change the VCA response with a knob from exponential to linear. There are four basic functions on the module, which you can switch between with a button. A envelope generator, which tuned to produce the natural attack decay curve of acoustic instruments. A vector emulation. Oops, but what is vector? A vector consists of two components, a light emitting diode, LED, and a photoresistor, a resistor whose resistance drops when it is exposed to light. Applying a voltage to the LED causes light to be emitted, which falls on the photoresistor. If a voltage applied to the photoresistor, it will develop a current. However, the photoresistor is often not very linear in its response. But that's why we like Vactrol, because it's not linear and sometimes it does strange things. So, streams include a vector emulation that does a great job of bringing a nonlinear, slow response. The third function is an envelope follower. It analyzes the incoming signal on the Excite input and then applies its amplitude curve and a spectral property to the incoming signal. The fourth is a compressor limiter with a maximum ratio of 1 to 25 with sidechain option. And of course, there are two of each, since Streams is a dual-channel module. Let's look at examples of basic functionality.
Wait a minute, what is spectral centroid? The spectral centroid essentially tells you how bright the timbre of a sound is, so it describes a timbre parameter. Put simply, the more high frequency components there is in a timbre, the higher this number will be. Now we can modulate our input signal in amplitude and brightness, so we can say this is a special envelope follower. As we have get used to, there are hidden and special settings in mutable instruments modules. Of course, Stream has alternate functions as well. Now, let's look at some examples.
Streams is a real chameleon when it comes to dynamics control. It does have its shortcomings. The most noticeable is that the envelope phases cannot be modulated. On the other hand, I never felt this to be a throwback on stage, because it can be put in a wide variety of situations without this feature. It is true that it takes a lot of practice to get used, learn the module, but it's true for any good module and for all forms in music making in general, not just for playing with modular synthesizer. Hopefully, I've managed to give you a better scope of streams. I'd really like to read what you think, please write comments. It's been a pleasure to be back with you. Take care and see you next time. Bye-bye.